On the face of it, January appeared to be a very difficult month for Liverpool to negotiate. Jurgen Klopp's side had six fixtures and would be without top scorer Mohamed Salah, key player Sadio Mane and influential midfielder Naby Keita. Many pundits and fans believe the club should use the January transfer window to bolster their ranks while the Africa Cup of Nations was on. How would they cope without two-thirds of their fabled front three? It was a reasonable question to ask, considering Salah and Main have contributed 33 goals and 10 assists between them so far this season, but, as has become a trademark in recent years, Liverpool did not panic. There was no mad trolley dash for a forward capable of filling in and the Reds now look very likely to end the month without signing any new players, that is entirely in keeping with the club's philosophy under owners Fenway Sports Group and sporting director Michael Edwards, who have advocated for a measured and analytical approach to recruitment. There were similar noises in the summer when supporters worried that the single arrival of Ibrahima Kanate was not sufficient to sustain Klopp's team, especially with Jeannie Wijnaldum leaving for Paris Saint-Germain on a free transfer. And although Liverpool have not kept up with Manchester City's ferocious pace at the top of the Premier League, it is hard to argue they have not taken the right approach in the transfer market. Rewinding for a brief look at the state of play this time last year should help convince fans that their current status is much preferable. Injuries to Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez, and the continued on-off presence of Joel Matip, had gutted Liverpool's options at centre-back and thrust Nat Phillips and Rhys Williams into the spotlight. In came Orzan Kabak on loan from Bundesliga strugglers Schalke and Ben Davies from championship side Preston. Kabak made 13 appearances but struggled to adapt to the pace of the Premier League and now finds himself at Norwich, while, a year on, Davies is still yet to make an appearance for the club and is currently out on loan at Sheffield United.